Hello friends. Do you think that parallel universes exist? Many scientists believe that parallel universes might exist. If the theory of parallel universe is real, then in those alternate realities may have a different version of you, the other you may look the same, but can have a different set of aspirations. The possibilities are endless. Here are some real stories, which makes us think that parallel universes might exist. 1. The woman who woke up one morning with her life suddenly slightly altered. Larina Garcia woke up one morning and noticed minor differences. Her sheets were unfamiliar, and the pajamas she was wearing were different from the one she'd gone to sleep in. Her day got weirder when she went to work and discovered that her office was no longer hers, and she worked in the same building, but in a different department, under a boss she'd never met. Bamboozled, she returned home, only to find that her ex-boyfriend was there, only he wasn't her ex, he was her current boyfriend. Her new lover, whom she'd been dating for months, was nowhere to be found. Larina believed she woke here, but she's from a parallel universe where the differences are as small as her bedspread, and as significant as her love life. 2. The Man from Torrid on a seemingly normal day in 1954, a seemingly normal man allegedly flew into Tokyo, but upon landing at the Tokyo International Airport, his seemingly normal trip had taken a very drastic turn for the weird. When he handed over his passport to be stamped, the man was immediately interrogated as to the whereabouts of his origins. It wasn't a case of racial profiling. While his passport looked authentic, it listed a country no one had ever heard of called Torrid. The mystery man claimed his country was located between France and Spain, but when he was asked to point it out on a map, he pointed to the Principality of Andorra. Insisting he had never heard of Andorra and that Torrid had existed for 1000 years, he claimed that he was in Japan on business, something he had been doing for the past five years. His passport seemed to back up his story, as it was covered in previous customs and visa stamps, and he carried with him legal currency from several European countries. He even had a driver's license issued by the mysterious country and a checkbook containing checks from an unknown bank. After more interrogation and confusion for both parties, the traveler was sent to a nearby hotel until an official decision could be reached. There. Two immigration officials stood outside the hotel door until morning. It was then that they discovered the mystery man had vanished without a trace, which was troubling, since the only possible exit was a window with no ledge 15 stories above a busy street. The Tokyo Police Department conducted an extensive search but continually came up empty handed. Hopefully, if he really was from a parallel Earth, he was able to find a way back to the comforts of his home in Torrid. 3. The Strange Man Who Wound Up Shipwrecked in Germany From an Unknown World So this story goes, a peculiar guy popped up in a village, where he was picked up and questioned by authorities. The only comprehensible language he spoke was a broken variation of German, but he said his name was Joffre Vorin and claimed to come from a part of the world known as Sacria. He conveyed that he was searching for his long-lost brother, whom he'd been separated from, during a shipwreck. While he had geographical information regarding his home planet, such as five compartments known as Sacria, Uffler, Usler, Osler, and Dupler, he couldn't trace his route on shore, and he would wind up living in Berlin, where he was a topic of discussion amongst the scientific and simply curious, communities. 4. Markawasi Stone Forest The Markawasi Stone Forest lies in the Andes Mountains in Lima, Peru. The stones are almost like sculptures, taking eerie shapes like human faces, but no one is sure how they formed. As if that isn't spooky enough, the real mystery is the possibility of a dimensional door that is said to be located in the forest. According to Dr. Raul Rios Chantena, an investigator of the unexplained in Lima, a patient came to see him about her extreme case of hemiplegia, a disorder that results in a complete loss of motor function in half of the body. When he inquired about the woman's condition, 
she revealed that she had been camping with friends in the Markawasi. According to the patient, they had gone out exploring late in the night and happened upon a torch-lit stone cabin filled with dancing revelers in 17th century attire. The woman said she felt an otherworldly pull toward the cabin, but she was yanked away by one of her friends before she could fully enter. The incident left the side of her body that had entered the cabin paralyzed. Her test results revealed no discernible cause for her paralysis. Shintena believes the woman experienced a dimensional shift, producing a change in her nervous system's energy flow. Many natives as well as scholars believe that a dimensional doorway exists in the stone forest of Markawasi, which the woman and her friends may have unknowingly crossed. Hemiplegia may not be a great consolation prize, but had she not been pulled away, the woman may have been lost forever. 5. The woman who may have visited a different dimension's darker version of her childhood town. A woman named Carol Chase McElhaney was driving in San Bernardino, towards Paris, California, when saw a road sign for Riverside nearby. Since that's where she and her family's roots were, she wanted to visit the familiar place, but when she arrived at the street she'd grown up on, she claimed she couldn't find her old place, and all of the houses looked different. She decided to drive to the street her grandmother used to live on, but discovered that it was altered as well. When she tried to visit the cemetery where her grandparents were buried, it wasn't there, and the lot was fenced up and full of overgrown weeds. Already baffled, Carol pulled onto University Avenue, a place where you'd normally find restaurants, hotels, and other businesses, but it was an unkempt, graffiti-covered area and something about the people there frightened her. She was afraid to get out of her car, feeling that if she interacted with the people there, she'd forever be stuck there. After a couple more frustrating hours not recognizing things, she returned to Paris. A few years later, Carol's father died and was to be buried in the same cemetery as her grandparents. When she arrived, everything was back to the way she'd remembered it growing up. Carol believes she visited a parallel dimension with an ill-fated version of Riverside. 6. The green-skinned children who simply just appeared here. Back in the 12th century, two children, a brother and sister, allegedly popped up in the village of Wolpit, in Suffolk, England. Both had greenish-colored skin, spoke an unknown language, wore bizarre clothing, and initially refused to eat any food other than raw beans. They were taken in, cared for, and eventually they adapted, developing a taste for food and losing a green hue in their skin. Shortly after, the boy became sick and died, but after learning to speak English, the girl explained that she and her brother were from a place where the sun didn't shine bright, and it was perpetually twilight. She and her brother were there, herding their dad's cattle, when they heard some loud noise, and were suddenly in a new place where they were eventually discovered, in Wolpit. The girl grew up and integrated herself into her new surroundings. Though it remained unknown how she and her brother got there, the girl went on to get married and live her life here, in a dimension that might not actually be her place of origin. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, subscribe my channel. Give a thumbs up. Comment and share.